Welcome back to the show, everyone. The Xterra Triathlon makes its annual stop at Snow Basin this coming weekend, and we are thrilled to have in studio with us two-time world champion, Leslie Patterson. Leslie, hey. thanks for stopping by. No, it's a pleasure. Glad to be here. Sorry to break up your training. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The big yeah. race is, is this coming Saturday up it at is. Snow Basin. Why is this one so special? You know, it's such a, a beautiful environment here in Utah and up at Snow Basin. It's gorgeous at this time of year. All the, the leaves are turning. Uh, but more importantly, it's actually part of the Pan Am Championship Tour, mm -hmm. and it's the final race in the series, so it's actually a big championship race, so it draws a, a big, big crowd. So, I, I detect an accent. A little bit. You, you Spanish do. Spanish 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 area. I'm from Texas, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Dallas, I knew it. Scotland? It is. It's, She's it's the Scottish Rocket, yep. right? I, I am. Yes. You, you've done your homework. <laughs> I've done my homework. Yeah, I looked up her bio. You never did in school. <laughs> All right, now, now tell, tell everyone what, it, what a triathlon is. I mean, you got yep. how many miles of swim, biking, and running? So, this is an Xterra race, so it's actually all off-road. Okay. So, we swim for about a mile. Um, and then we uh, mountain bike ride for about 30 k's, <laughs> uh, and then we run 10 k's. Wow. So, yeah. Which so one's <laughs> toughest for you? None of them. All of them. I love all of them. All <laughs> of them. Not that can't that's be not true. true. And I've, done, I've done a couple of triathlons, yeah. but I just did the sprint triathlons because right, yeah. you know, I'm not very good. Um, there, it's hard. It is, it is hard, hard work. It is hard work. You know, it takes a lot of, it, it does take quite a bit of training, um, but just to do the three sports back to back, yeah. they're so different. Um, and then, you know, we were talking earlier about the open water swimming. Yeah. That can be a challenge for people being with everyone else. Uh, the fit, uh, you know, the fighting and the kicking and whatnot <laughs> that goes on. Um, but it, it's such an exhilarating feeling and it's so amazing, especially in Xterra, you get to be out there in the trails and the environment. Right. Um, that when you finish, you just feel so. I mean, you really do feel overjoyed. Actually. See, I didn't. I you didn't. Didn't. Oh, no, don't do that. I felt he was yeah. exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. but you didn't do an exterior. You did one of those silly road I did. Triathlons. I did do that. They're not, they're not fun. Bike. Speaking of fighting, I mean, she is a fighter. You overcame Lyme disease I a few did. years ago. How did that affect you? That must have affected your breathing yeah. and just your training. Everything. You know, Lyme disease is a bacterial infection, and so it really feels like chronic fatigue. Wow. Uh, so you get a lot of uh, gut issues. You go to the toilet rather a lot. <laughs> right. um, you feel tired all the time. You kind of feel nauseous. Almost like like you've got semi-flu all the time. Perfect for a triathlete, right? right? So that, right. that has to affect your training. Yeah, that couldn't have affected it, you at all. Oh, I mean, brutal. I'm really, I'm really pig-headed, as my husband will attest to. Um, so I just kind of trained through it. But it, at times, just incredibly challenging. Um, but it's made me mentally tougher, mm. uh, which is which is a good thing, right? Because when I feel good now, I have so much gratitude. Now, you, she started off as a rugby player, right? Is, in in Scotland. Can, can't you tell? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you got the build for it. Right there. That's right. How did that help you uh, transition into a triathlon? Yeah, you know, growing up in, in Scotland, obviously rugby is rather dirty. Yeah. So it's perfect for triathlon. Speaking of kicking and biting yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Well, right Absolutely. There. You know, I was I was a, a, a scrum half. I was not a hooker. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know... You might want to explain uh, what that is. In, uh, the, in the, the, that's right. It's, it's a different a, meaning. A part of the scrum. I part gotcha. of the scrum. Gotcha. Part of the scrum. Um, but, you know, I played in an all-boys team, so there was about 250 boys and myself. Okay. So I think it just made me resilient. Oh, yeah. uh, and, you know, I, I sort of, I don't really care what people think, you know, because <laughs> everyone used to laugh at me when I was younger. I'm just like, oh, whatever. So how did so. you gravitate to the sport of triathlons and how did you become a world champion? Right. Well, I like running around naked, as you do in triathlon. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I think my dad was just like, gosh, I need to get her into something that's going to, you know, wear down this energy. So mm. he found the triathlon club and that's how I got yeah. into it. Um, and then, you know, I've been a professional now for about 10 years but I've mm. actually been doing triathlon for 25 years yeah. um, so from from a very young age and uh, yeah you know find Xterra at the age of kind of 26 27 was in the sport for a few years and, and was lucky enough to kind of win my first world title in 2011 yeah. and you are tough mentally as well you helped write a book I called did. can't really say the title <laughs> no, on television no. calm well, the blank down and yeah. rise to the occasion exactly right? it's called the brave athlete calm the brave the, F blank down. <laughs> Come the, blah, blah, blah. What's the down. main message behind that? Though? It's basically um, a breaking down why we have thoughts and feelings that we don't want. Mm. So we get into the neuroscience of how the brain works and then we address the major questions, uh, sort of the major issues that our athletes that we coach right. uh, have had. Things like, I feel fat, I don't have confidence, mm. I get nervous, I have panic attacks. Yeah. Hey, I'm <laughs> so right See, there. she pointed at me because I had a panic attack <laughs> down at... Uh, 
done in Payson when I was doing it yeah. in the water, and it just, right. it was stunning. Forging. Stunning. Yeah. 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 Super common. Super common. My husband wow. does one-on-one -on -one sessions with athletes, and that's the most common thing. Huh. So. Exterior Championships coming up this Saturday. Yeah, Leslie, good luck. good luck. Good luck. I expect to see you guys on the trailer. You're coming to do yes. it, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, I have a thing that, that, I have a thing uh, that day with a yeah, guy in the place. I, I, I'm, I'm a yep. little busy. Yeah. Yeah. we got to take a quick break, but coming up, <laughs> we're going to have our top four high school plays of the week and reveal our Beehive Blitz Player of the Week. Stick around for that.